Hey you guys, it's Tango Pilot here, and today I'm doing a tutorial on the second mission of Heroes of the Mig Alley. In this mission, you will encounter one type of aircraft as a threat. You have four AI aircraft, and unlike the first mission, I would recommend that you stay with your flight. That means you try and follow them and stay close to them the entire time. Don't try and get out in front of yourself because these guys know where they're going because it's in their AI code. Okay, so here we are on takeoff. And once again, the only threat you're going to be encountering in this mission is two Tu-2 medium Soviet bombers. Okay, so you might ask, why am I pulling the brakes now, the air brakes? Well, these AI aircraft are coded to climb at about 120, 140 knots. It kind of varies sometimes. They usually cruise around 200 knots unless uh, they see an enemy aircraft and then they're just full throttle from that point. So these aircraft tend to climb very well, they climb quickly, but they fly slow. So you're climbing at about 4,000 feet per minute and you're only going about 100. 40 knots. Uh, that's just how the AI aircraft are coded. Uh, it's kind of nice actually that this way you don't get lost because in the fourth mission, which uh, I'll be going over in two more videos, it's very easy to get lost because you really have to be with your flight very closely following them at the correct speeds or else you'll get lost or left behind. So yeah, this is a very short mission, very easy mission, honestly. Um, the biggest threat to you is the anti-aircraft machine guns that are on the Tu-2 bombers. If you pull up behind one of the bombers that you'll see here in a minute, and you just decide to, I don't know, try and attack them, and just sit straight behind them, you will get shot down, and it's very embarrassing when you get shot down by Tu-2 bombers because they're bombers. <laughs> Can't say that I've had that happen before, but uh, whatever. Okay, en enemy bombers in sight. Now. I I'm just following my flight lead here, and I see him drop tanks, so that's what I do. And there's the bombers right there. They're in a dive because they're trying to get out of our way. Okay, so I've selected this bomber that I was going to attack. Watch out for your own teammates, because they have a tendency to get in your way sometimes. Once again, try and stay as far away from the bombers as possible while still being in range of the gun. Um, well, you can see how the uh, gun sight works here. Now, whenever you get close to a target, the gun sight gets larger, showing you that you're closer and closer. Sometimes you just have to look at the tracers whenever you're in a high G turn trying to fire at a target. Sometimes you just have to watch the tracers and follow those to lead you to your target. But if you're in more of a uh, level flight attitude, like as we are now, and you try and shoot down another aircraft, uh, you use the flipper. It's very helpful. But then again, if you're in a tight turn, you're probably just going to have to follow the tracers or don't even shoot at all. And yeah, as you can see there, the other two aircraft that went after the other bomber have shot it down, and that's all you have to do for this mission. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Tango Pilot. Comment, rate, and like. Comment, rate, like. Okay, let's, let's try that again. Comment, let's see, comment, like, and follow, I guess, if we're talking about everyone. Anyway, see you guys. Bye.